What's going on, Flix Talkers? Happy New Year. Welcome back to another movie review. Now, this time, I'm going to be talking about 2023's Society of the Snow. Now, this movie did get a theatrical release back last month in December of 2023, but it is being offered this Friday, January 4th, 2024. And shout out to Netflix for sending me an early screener copy to review for the channel. Thanks once again, guys, for joining my channel. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing today where I do more reviews like this, trailer reactions, and movie reactions here on the channel. And before we get into this movie review, just know that it is completely spoiler free. I'm going to give my thoughts, the good, the bad, the all in between ugly because this movie does get ugly. Now, this film does translate to Society of the Snow, original title. The spoken language in this film is Spanish, and it is directed and written by J.A. Bayona. And the quick synopsis for Society of the Snow is, the flight of a rugby team crashes on a glacier in the Andes. The few passengers who survive the crash find themselves in one of the world's toughest environments to survive. Okay, now it's important to note, and completely by coincidence, because I never wear sweaters, but in my area, it is getting a bit chilly, and this movie, is completely covered in snow and they paint the picture of the environment mother nature as a complete frozen beast now one thing i absolutely love about this movie is we get directly into it we get completely immersed in this crash in the andes and usually even with survival movies you kind of have that build-up that exposition that character development before you get into all the action i like that this movie does that kind of as we go along. We learn about these characters as they are fighting to survive. Now, this horrific plane crash has to be on a top list of some of the most realistic plane crashes I have ever seen in my life. I kid you not, I was watching this in the other room and 14 or 15 minutes into when we get this crash, I cringed and gasped and just said, oh my God, that I scared my wife in the other room. If you guys are squeamish, man, we're talking about broken limbs, just full on side views of people slamming into each other. Oh God, I forgot to mention, this is based on a true story in the 70s. So planes back then were like completely rinky dinky. Either way, it painted such a realistic picture of a horrific crash. And I'll be honest, right after watching this movie, I didn't want to plan any trip involving flight travel whatsoever in my immediate future. Also, like I mentioned in that synopsis, and it's not any spoiler at all, people die. And one thing I absolutely love that they did honor these once again, real victims of this tragic crash by putting up their their names on the screen and their ages. I thought that was extremely honorable once again. And just the text shown next to a dead body gives you the magnitude and the gravity of the situation of this horrific group crash. We're talking about a group crash. I'm not just talking about 10 people. There was a good 30 or 40 people involved in this horrific incident. And as we go along, this movie becomes more and more sad and depressing because you kind of find out that there's no real light at the end of this tunnel. The snow has definitely sealed their face so to speak. There's questions of faith along the way and just questions in general on what to think when it comes to staying alive. Another thing I absolutely loved about this movie was the emotion behind these characters that I had no clue about. Now, I'm not just talking about the characters themselves on screen. I'm talking about the actors involved because I don't know any of these actors. I'm an American watching this movie, so this is the first time I am introduced to the acting ability of these people. And I gotta say, they completely blew me away. Like I said in the beginning, even though we didn't get a buildup of character development, that didn't matter because once again, in those fighting moments to survive, we fell for these people. They wanted to stay alive. They also questioned what's gonna happen in the afterlife. And that really kind of tugged at my heartstrings, especially when a lot of these guys and girls were in their early 20s. Life is just beginning. So once again, it really adds to the layer of emotion. And honestly, by the end of this movie, I mean, it does go from bad to worse, but you realize that mother nature is once again, a true beast. And I love horror. Y'all see it right here in the background, but I think it's fair to say that mother nature is the true and ultimate slasher. Also, I got to give it up to this director, man, J.A. Bayona. I did look up some of his old work and it looks like he's a young guy. And he also directed a film called The Orphanage back in 2000. And seven. Let me know if you guys have seen that one. I definitely have heard of it, but I have not seen it. But the quality of filmmaking on this movie, especially the pan out shots, the overhead drone shots, it paints the scope of nothingness out there. Even when some of these surviving people decide to trek because you know what? They're not just going to be sitting ducks. Once they get to the mountaintop, there is nothing but white that they can see for miles. I don't want to give you guys too many spoilers, but it's a horrific ordeal. And I think if you guys plan to watch this while eating dinner, Dinner, definitely don't do it. I would say go into this movie 
definitely knowing that you're gonna see some crazy and depressing stuff, but at the same time, that will to live, that will to just push on, it leads for an amazing, amazing story. And I don't wanna let you guys know even how long that they were out there stranded in the snow, but just know once again, the mother nature, the terrain, the elements at hand really damage these people's bodies. And that's another thing that they do show that's very, very realistic and has you just sitting back like, this really happened? So all in all, guys, I'm gonna give Society of Snow from 2023 a solid five out of five. Perfect. I know that's tough to say and we're kicking the year off right with a Netflix movie, even though this is an international film that did get released in theaters. This is definitely not a January movie I was expecting to crap on, even though we all know that January is where movies go to die. So I think in my honest opinion, you guys should give this movie a try. It may surprise you. All right, Flix Talkers, what do you think of Society of Snow? If you guys have seen it, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys did appreciate my thoughts and review please let me know by hitting that big thumbs up to support the channel and consider subscribing today where once again i do more movie reviews like this trailer reactions and movie reactions here on the channel also make sure if you guys want to follow me on all of my social medias i'll put all of that down in the description below and i'll see you guys in the next one all right flix talkers i'm gone peace